A rare bear encounter caught on camera. A Roanoke man recently came across a mother and her three cubs walking along. There they are along the road on Bent Mountain. And we're starting to see more bears in our area as the temperatures warm up. And this was uh, there was even a rescue over the weekend in Rockbridge County. 10 News reporter Coulter Inset shows us what happened. The saying goes it takes a village to raise a child. But over the weekend, it took a village to rescue three bear cubs. I feel like this is by far the most dramatic rescue story that we've had for cubs um, so far this year, maybe compared to other years, too. Wildlife Center of Virginia Outreach Director Amanda Nicholson says the center now has eight bear cubs. They'll just be eating more and more adult foods as we wean them off of formula this summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, we'll just be giving them plenty of space and not lots of natural things like trees to climb. The mother bear was hit Saturday night. The next morning, a state trooper returned to the scene to look for the cubs. With the help of bear hunters, a towing company, and a bucket truck from Bark Electric, the bears were rescued from a tree. They were a little frightened, a little shaky, but um, we were actually easily uh, able to pretty easily remove them from the tree. Bark Electric engineer Travis Rodenizer is thankful his company allowed him to use a bucket truck to help. Being able to actually put hands on uh, on something like that, it was it was great. The three bear cubs will live in the wildlife center until next spring when they are expected to be released. A very happy ending to what has been a much different beginning to the young cubs' lives. In Roanoke, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you. They are cute when they're that size. <laughs> Until they get yeah, older. Little, right? Yeah. The Wildlife Center has seen an unusually high number of bear cubs this year. So sometimes the babies are fostered with a mother in the wild, while others will stay at the nonprofit until they're older. And we want to give you a live look from their enclosure in Waynesboro, where the cubs spend time playing and taking naps right there in that hammock. And among the bears are a trio of cubs found inside a cooler in Floyd County earlier this year. We also reported on that. Staff telling us the Cubs will be released in the spring of 2021.